yesterday, my boy. I know, I know I missed you too and I love you so much. But mummy's got to show her stuff, okay? Go and play with your ball ball. I love you too. Right, guys. <laughs> I have been into B&M this morning. It was so busy. <clears throat> um, I was going to film like a B&M come shop with me, but it was too busy and I just, I, I refused. But I basically spent... I think I spent 120 quid <laughs> so I thought I would show you what I picked up so I picked up lots of random bits I've also got Parker's birthday on the 23rd of December Parker's my five-year-old son he will be six in December so I got him some birthday bits as well so yeah I thought I would just show you what I picked up Doggy! so should I just get his toys out the way yeah Every now and again when I take him into B&M, he kind of points out stuff that he wants and I remembered some of the things in my head and I thought because his birthday is so close to Christmas and it's been such a crappy year, I'd just get him four of the two for 20 toys. So I spent 40 quid and he's got four things. Obviously he gets a lot of other stuff from all of my family, all of Dan's family and then he's got Christmas Day two days after his birthday where again he gets lots more. So I think this is plenty to be fair. I have got him something else upstairs. I've got him like a big race car thing um, where the cars dive off and I don't know, but I picked that up a couple weeks ago and that was really, really cool. That's 20 quid. So I spent 60 quid on him for his birthday, which I think is fine. We always get um, homemade special birthday cakes. The lady that did my wedding cake, we always get birthday cakes off her. So he's got a special cake as well. But the first thing that I picked up was this Robo Dog. So he's seen this a couple times whenever we've been in B&M and he's mentioned it so much and he basically he really really wanted it. So it's Dexter the Robo Dog, it's animated, he walks, nods, wags his tail and he's got flashing lights and signs so I'm sure he will be very happy with that one. I then picked him up of this one so I thought this looked rather cool. So this is a remote control rapid racer stunt car and it's in bright orange and this is also in the two for 20 pound range um it's for age six years plus it says it does wheelies it spins it rotates it goes at speed um it's got a controller uh, i thought that looked really cool so he's got a stunt racer car also picked him up this one this looks so cool it's a morph droid megabot i think it's basically like a transformer Oh, apparently there's five that you can collect. Collect all five and build a mega bar. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. I did not know that. Hmm. Might have to get them a couple more for Christmas. But yeah, I thought this would be really cool. So this apparently is for eight years and up, but I think it'd be fine for him. But he has mentioned that he's seen a transformer and well, I saw this and I just thought that'd be perfect. So I picked that one up for him as well. And then the last toy that I picked up for Parker was this. This is really good. So this is basically like Meccano. It's mechanics. It's motorised two-in-one. It's a construction set. Apparently there's 221 pieces. There's lots of bits and bobs in there that you can do. It comes with a screwdriver and a spanner set and a electric motor. So Parker loves doing stuff like this, especially with his dad. Um... His dad will come home from work, and if I've got work, they'll sit down together and they'll build stuff. So I know that he will really, really love that. So I thought those four toys there for him would be amazing. And he's got the car launcher toy thing up there as well. Sorry for the shaking of the camera. Stormy, my dog, is playing with a ball ball, and he's all over the place. <laughs> so I then picked up these two selection boxes just because I haven't picked up the kids a selection box yet and I like to give them one for Christmas. So these are really good actually because they've got a free ticket voucher on the back. So it's basically you get somebody free with a full paying adult and it's for Orton Towers, Legoland, Blackpool Tower, um, Dungeons, Chesington World of Adventures, Sea Life. So I thought that would come in handy for next year for a couple of days out because hopefully next year we can get back to some kind of normality and have some days out. So yeah, chuff with those. What else? Ooh, picked up a little bottle of Plonk. So this is a bottle of Bucks Fizz. I think this is about 2 99 I like to have a glass of Bucks Fizz over Christmas. Me and Dan aren't really drinkers. We don't 
she didn't really drink at all so but i do like a bit of bucks fizz i then picked up these two these are for the tassimo machine so these are bailey's hot chocolate that sounds incredible might have to get some more of those and this is the costa gingerbread limited edition so funny story i don't own a tassimo machine but my sister does um, I've had a couple of coffees at her house, at my mum, she lives with my mum, and I love it. And I've mentioned to her that I would love to have a Tassimo machine. She asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I basically said a Tassimo machine. So I'm kind of hoping that she's got me a Tassimo machine so that I can use these. But if she hasn't got me a machine, then it'd just be a really good excuse to buy myself one, wouldn't it? So yeah, picked up those. So much. Batteries. Can never have enough batteries at Christmas. I think these were £5 for each pack, but each pack is 10 and get 10 free. So, no, it's not. Those are 8 and the little ones are 20. So that's a fiver for 20 AAA and this was a fiver for 8 AA. So yeah, can never have enough batteries in the house, especially when it's Christmas time. Picked up some orange chocolate minis just because I've got a night shift tonight and you know I like to have a little bit of chocolate on a night shift. I then got lots and lots of tubs of these little Pringles. So these are only slightly smaller than the ones you get that you buy in the supermarkets, but these were a pound each. So I believe I got two Texas barbecue. I think I got two of the sour and cream and I also got two salt and vinegar. We love having Pringles at Christmas or any time of the year really. Only thing is they sound a bit broken. Oh my god, I hope they're not too broke up. I like to get um, some nice like dips like cheese and chive and garlic dip and dip them in. Yum yum. So these are going away into the Christmas cupboard. There's the, yeah, so I've got two, two green, two blue, and two of the barbecue. Right, one bag nearly finished. I picked up this big selection of shortbread. I absolutely love shortbread. You can't beat a like a latte or a nice cup of tea with a nice shortbread biscuit. These were quite cheap actually. I think this box was one ninety nine, and it's quite a decent sized box. So yeah. Also to go in the Christmas cupboard. Gingerbread matchsticks. I also got the orange matchsticks. And I believe in here somewhere I picked up the cool mint matchsticks. So yeah, just more treats really for the Christmas cupboard. Lots more treats for the Christmas cupboard. Picked up some drumstick squashies. The kids like um, sweets. I mean, they love chocolate more than they love sweets. But it's nice to kind of have a little bit different. So yeah, just picked up some drumstick squashies. Also got some walnut whips. I absolutely love a walnut whip. And the good thing is that these actually have the nut on. Remember last year when they started bringing them out without the nut and they still called it... Oh no, they just called it a whip and it was like... That's my bloody nut. I want me nut. I then got a packet of limited edition snowy fingers. These are also really, really nice. So if you're having a nice latte or a cup of tea or coffee or whatever. So yeah, I think these were $1.99 or 99p. I'm not sure, guys. I then picked up some crisp. I find B&M really, really good value for crisp, just for stocking up the crisp cupboard. Um, I find them a lot cheaper than like normal supermarkets, so I tend to go in B&M for my crisp. So I got some flaming hot Cheetos, which are basically the exact same as flaming hot what's it? Both of my kids love this, these. Even Danny. Oh, sorry, and she is two years old, and I love them as well. So get some more. Got some nice and spicy knickknacks. These were all one pound each, so they're a bargain. Um, a packet of the crispy bacon Weetos. And these, I think these were $1.99 or $2.99, I'm not sure, but it's a packet of 12 mixed bags of hula hoops. 
can't go wrong with a nice bag of hula hoop. I then picked up these. So we went down the like stationary section just to have a look. And these basically were on the end of an aisle and it's 12 pencils and toppers. So it's just pencils with basically rubbers. But I thought it would be like a really good present for just, you know when you do the bundle and you've got all the main presents but you don't feel like there's enough so you buy some cheap little bits just to throw in there to make it look more. <laughs> what do they call that? I don't know. But I thought this would be good for that. And it, it, it was actually £2 but they were reduced down to a pound. So I thought a pound for all those was a bargain. And he's getting to the age now where he's starting to learn how to write properly and he can write his name and stuff. And he, he really enjoys writing now. So yeah, I got those. I then saw these. Um, these were one fifty each, which I think is a bargain. They are plastic and they're just basically kids' Christmas plates. So I thought, well, one for Parker, the red one, Christmas, uh, um, I can't talk. Um, so I brought the red one for Parker. Parker loves red. It's actually his favourite colour and it just says on it the North Pole Express. So I thought he would love that. And then I brought the pink one for Danny. So yeah, just for, you know, in December, they can have little festive plates each. I then picked up these um, Christmas tape packs, it's a packet of two and I believe these were a pound. So it's just basically, it's like sellotape but it's printed in like a Christmas print. So I thought these would be really good just to wrap up their Christmas presents really. Also got a box of Maltesers, again just for the Christmas cupboard. I'm going to stash all this away because if the kids or Dan find it, it'll be gone. Hello baby. Picked up a bag of sugar because I needed a bag of sugar. Ah, ah, ah. And then I picked up these bad boys. So these are the Flips milk chocolate pretzels. I absolutely love a good pretzel. Um, my favourite ones are the white fudge, I think it is. They are absolutely incredible. But yeah, I picked up these. It's quite a big bag and these are £1.50. So I may or may not be taking these to work with me tonight. <laughs> Last thing I picked up, guys. Ugh, it's really heavy. I picked up these. So it's basically a nest of two square tables. So it's got black metal base with wooden tops. So we used to have this, but in the large coffee table. I got rid of it late... Um, literally a couple weeks ago just because we've got such a small lounge and we felt like it took up such a lot of space but we still need something in here because the kids will often come in here and eat breakfast or have a cup of teas and biscuits so we needed some type of table for them to um to use so we've got I've got a little corner over there or I've got a little side bit over there by the door which I thought I could put these together and it's quite good because you've got two of them and you can stack one under the other because it's a nest and they're obviously a lot smaller so instead of obviously the coffee table was kind of like this big instead of having that in the way I'm going to have something a lot smaller so I thought that these were really really good these were £25 which I actually thought was a real bargain so I need to put those together put all oh that is basically all that I picked up today so all that come to 120 quid which I thought was quite good I got quite a lot there I got quite a lot for Christmas got all Parker's stuff and I got my nest of tables so yeah need to get that built up go and hide his presents somewhere I've no idea where I'm gonna hide them to but I need to go and hide them somewhere get all this packed away before Parker gets home from school. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's little B&M haul. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a kind of weekly Vlogmas vlog video. I really wanted to do Vlogmas and I've wanted to do it last year and this year, but I don't live an exciting enough life <laughs> to film a video every day, if you know what I mean. like. I'm a mother of two, I've got a two year old, a five year old, I've got a husband, I work night shifts, I don't do enough every day that's exciting for people to watch. 
But what I thought I would do is do like a weekly vlogmas. So I put like a vlog up a week. Um, we do do like a kind a lot of winter walks with the dogs and things like that. I want to take the kids out um, on car journeys looking for Christmas lights and stuff. So yeah, if you think that you will, if you think that you would enjoy kind of like a weekly vlogmas video then please let me know in the comments below if you are new here and you would like to see my vlogmas videos or any other videos please do remember to subscribe it is completely free and there's a little red box it's down here somewhere i never know what side of the screen i'm going to be on if this gets turned i think it's going to be on this side or this side i don't know it's down there somewhere so yeah if you click on that you'll then be subscribed to my channel so i need to go and get all this packed away guys so i will see you very soon Hi!